The ratings are an utter humiliation for Jim Acosta and Brian Stelter. All as CNN's audience implodes. In this video, we're going to take a look at just how many viewers are fleeing both Acosta's and Stelter's respective shows. How they're hemorrhaging audience members really is just par for the course of the ever-sinking CNN. And why the anchors at the cable news network remain so utterly clueless in the face of the ratings disaster. You're not. Good on this. this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Wonderful to be with you. As always, we just got one video for you today. I'm sorry about that, but I got some other business I need to attend to. But if you would, please... Click on the link below and subscribe to our brand new Rumble channel and help us to reach 100,000 subscribers and support all tech. And for you podcast fans, we've now reached over 2 million podcast downloads. So make sure to click on that link below and sign up for our various podcast platforms as well. Before we dive in here, make sure to click on the link below and head on over to my special website for my Patriot Food Supply. As we all saw with the whole pandemic insanity, we cannot wait for an emergency to happen before we respond to one. And no one makes preparing for an emergency more ridiculously easy and affordable than our good friends over at My Patriot Supply. Gang, they're simply the best. Their food kits last up to 25 years in storage. They include breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. And if you act now, you're going to save $50 off a full four-week emergency food supply when you click on that link below to my special website. So do not wait. I've got my food supply. Make sure you get yours. Click on that link below or go to preparewithsteve.com and save $50 off your very own four-week emergency food supply today. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. We've, we've seen for quite some time now a number of pro prognosticators predicting the inevitable death in the mainstream media. Here's, here's just a sample. This one's from Forbes. Fewer Americans than ever before trust the mainstream media. And the article goes on to cite one of the latest studies on media trust, which comes from what's called the Edelman Annual Trust Barometer. And that study found that for the very first time since they began their annual studies, less than half of the surveyed population trusts the mainstream media. 56% of respondents believe that journalists and reporters are purposely trying to mislead. And 58% think news organizations are more interested in ideology than facts. Nearly 60%, 6 in 10 respondents, believe that journalists and reporters are purposely trying to mislead because they're more interested in ideology than facts. Or as the liberal commentator turned media critic Andrew Sullivan puts it, the media pushes narrative, not news. Only 18% of Republicans trust the media versus 57% of Democrats. As a whole, 46% of Americans of all political stripes say they trust the media. For the first time in years, Edelman has conducted their annual trust survey. Less than half the population trusts the mainstream media. And so we get headlines like this from the national interest. Coronavirus is accelerating the death of the mainstream news media. Or this from The Hill, Americans are tired of liberals skewing the mainstream media. I mean, we could go on and on, but I would argue that the textbook case study for the death of the mainstream media can actually be found in none other than the most distrusted name in news, and that, of course, is CNN. CNN, for all practical purposes, is literally hemorrhaging viewers. And nowhere do we see this more explicitly the case than with two of the most obnoxious leftist activists disguised as journalists. Who remembers, who remembers Jim Acosta, right? We haven't seen very much of him of late, have we? He, of course, was the CNN White House correspondent during the Trump years who turned out to be more of a heckler than a reporter. And that's why we affectionately refer to him as Jim Acosta here on this channel. But Jim Acosta has a new show on CNN. It's called CNN Newsroom. It's a weekend news program. And um, let's just say uh, <laughs> there ain't a whole hell of a lot of viewers who are tuning into this program. Take a look at this from Fox News. Quote, viewers flee CNN during Jim Acosta's new weekend show as network's ratings suffer. Three weeks into this pilot program for CNN's Acosta, CNN viewership has been found to drop 30% whenever Acosta is on air. CNN averages about 1.1 million viewers on Saturdays, which itself is pretty pathetic for a supposedly major news network, but CNN averages 
1.1 million viewers on Saturday. But when a Coster's program comes on, that number drops to 796,000 viewers, representing a 30% drop. When a Coster's newsroom airs on Sundays, it's even worse. The drop in viewership is over 40%. But as it turns out, it's not only Jim Acosta that's suffering with the ratings. Another beauty over at CNN, Brian Stelter. He's experiencing his own ratings lag. Again, according to Fox News, the left-wing activist show Reliable Sources hit another yearly low a couple of weeks back, averaging only 885,000 viewers, which represents its least watch episode of 2021. In fact, Stelter, like Acosta, has yet to really crack the 1 million mark in his telecast. When it comes to the most coveted advertising demographic of adults, those are those age 25 to 54, the show is utterly imploded, averaging only 178,000 viewers from that group, which means that their advertising revenue is indeed falling. Altogether, Stelter's viewership has dropped a staggering 72% since the show first aired this year back in January. By comparison, Fox News' program Media Buzz, which runs during Stelter's time slot, averages 1.3 million total viewers, which is a near 50% increase over the viewership of Stelter. And all of this really is just par for the course for the ratings for CNN, which are an absolute freefall. We did a video a couple of weeks back on how CNN's audience has dropped an astonishing 60% in the most coveted advertising demographic of 25 to 54 year olds. They're not even averaging at this point a quarter of a million viewers. They're under 250,000 viewers, which is beyond embarrassing for a multi-billion dollar news corporation. In terms of their overall viewership, they've gone from an average of 2.2 million viewers in the first few weeks of 2021 to now barely a million, representing a staggering decline of 54% in their overall ratings. In terms of their primetime lineup, CNN viewership has fallen from an average of 3.1 million viewers in the 8 to 11 p.m. time slot at the beginning of the year to now just 1.4 million, which represents a 55% decline. And the lineup has seen as well a disastrous 63% decline in the crucial 25 to 54-year-old demographic. So obviously CNN is faltering big time here. And as we saw with some of the headlines earlier on, what's happening to CNN in particular is happening to the mainstream media as a whole. The fundamental problem here is that the business model for any news media organization is based on trust. The viewer must trust the organization to be a reliable mediator of information. And when globalist corporations like CNN so obviously peddle in a left-wing bias, as all the polls show the vast majority of the population perceives them to be doing, when CNN so obviously peddles in left-wing propaganda, while at the same time they claim to be totally unbiased and objective, trust implodes. And the supposed most trusted name in news becomes quickly the most distrusted name in news. And just to bring this point home here, we've got a perfect example, the newly minted news anchor over at CNN, the hostess of the program New Day, Brianna Keeler. You won't believe what she said in one of her first monologues. But before we get into that, what do you think of this cool shirt, huh? Is this not awesome or what? Well, we got plenty more where this came from. If you click on that link below, we can check out our awesome merch that celebrates the worldwide patriot movement that's rising up all over the globe. Summer's just around the corner, right? Great t-shirt wearing time. And what could be better than sporting this awesome apparel that identifies us as unified patriots? We've got all kinds of pro-Trump gear. We've got patriot iPhone cases. We got George Orwell 1984 quotes, anti-big tech tyrant shirts, you name it. And we can together wear our shirts with pride, reminding people everywhere that our freedom is not for sale. So make sure to click on that link below and find some super awesome swag for yourself, for your friends, for your loved ones. And let's wear together a sign for all the world to see that the worldwide patriot movement is indeed stronger than ever. All right, so look at this from CNN's newest anchor. This was one of her first monologues that she was, she was given a platform to represent the so-called most trusted name in news, Brianna Keeler. 
Uh, she actually tried to critique Fox News' use of chirons, right, the news banner at the bottom of the TV screen. She tried to critique Fox News' chirons as indicative of the fact that, quote, Fox is not news, no matter what it calls itself. Now, the irony of this approach to critiquing Fox was entirely lost on Keeler. Uh, who could ever forget the epic Chiron fail during the riots over the summer when the CNN Chiron read, fiery but mostly peaceful protest during the whole George Floyd riots. Fiery but mostly peaceful. That's right, the arsonists, according to CNN, the arsonists that were gathered there were mostly peaceful arsonists. This was CNN's Baghdad Bob moment par excellence. You've got a city in flames behind the so-called reporter who suggests that all we have here is love and peace. So the irony of Chiron analysis was completely lost on this CNN anchor, Brianna Keeler. And that's, of course, as the Federalist points out, she is not a news anchor. She's a propagandist like Baghdad Bob. And the more she and her kindred ideologues at CNN push the notion that their blatant propaganda is objective news, that their radical leftist bias is not a bias, the very trust upon which CNN's own motto recognizes the foundation of their business model collapses. It implodes. And that's what this Federalist article recognizes. Quote, the media's echo chamber is a dark and dangerous place that transforms people like Keeler from journalists into smug college Democrat bloggers advertised as neutral arbiters of apples and bananas. Her bad and hypocritical arguments would be one thing if they weren't also delivered with sanctimony and false advertising. Her bosses should be horrified for business reasons and principled ones. Instead, they're likely applauding her. And that's why there's little hope the legacy media can be repaired leaving the public unsure of who to trust and where to turn for accurate information about basic facts. The self-styled reliable sources are too ideological and too unaware of their own ideology to live up to that label. And to that, we can simply add, the more these ideologues try to present themselves as reliable sources, the more their audience implodes. Now, before you go, make sure to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Definitely click on the link below and check out some of our awesome merch. And you definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on how leftist blue states are losing political power all as residents flee them en masse. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on the link, and I will see you over there. God bless.